So fluorine is the most reactive element. It's meant to be pale green, but I've never actually seen it. And I've never smelt it either because if it gets out, and I have been in a room where there's been a small fluorine leak, it reacts with the water in your nose to make hydrogen fluoride, which smells dreadful. Hydrogen fluoride is quite an interesting compound because it is fantastically reactive and corrosive. It will dissolve up human flesh. When I read my four-year-old son the story of the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy pours a bucket of water over the wicked witch, Simon asked, was there HF in the water? Fluorine is very reactive, but sometimes you have to use very special procedures to get it um, to react properly. I've got a piece of apparatus just in here, in my cupboard. This is um, a unique piece of apparatus which was used for making an oxide of fluorine, O2F2, where fluorine was passed and oxygen was passed one, down one side and across here you put a very high voltage and the electric voltage dissociated the molecules, oxygen reacted with, and the fluorine reacted and the whole of this um, vessel was <coughs> immersed in liquid nitrogen which allowed the product O2F2 to freeze on the outside, uh, on the outside walls of the vessel.